Hi, my name is Gary Squirrel, and I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Lubbock, Texas. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we expect with this major winter storm that will impact the region over this holiday weekend. So you can see blizzard warnings are posted for much of eastern New Mexico and West Texas. That includes all of the South Plains, Rolling Plains, and Southern Texas Panhandle. And that blizzard warning is in effect from 6 p.m. on Saturday evening through 9 a.m. Monday. And with the blizzard warning, we expect very strong winds and coupled with snow, falling snow, and snow on the ground that will be blowing around, creating near whiteout conditions. Jumping into a few of the details, we do expect that timing, as I already mentioned, to initially the, the conditions will deteriorate quite quickly late Saturday evening and continue through Sunday into early Monday before the storm system gradually pulls away, winds decrease, and snow drops off. Early on, we could see freezing rain and sleet before the precipitation changes to all snow. And regarding the timing of that changeover, it looks like out near the state line, southwest panhandle and the western south plains, uh, changeover, should, changeover to snow should occur quite early in the event, anytime from late Saturday afternoon and early Saturday evening, and then all snow from there on out. As you push further east towards the I-27 US-87 corridor, that would include Plainview and Lubbock, we don't th think that changeover to all snow will occur until around midnight, give or take a couple hours, maybe into early Sunday morning. And as you go further east off the Cap Rock into the Rolling Plains, that changeover may not occur until sometime during the day Sunday. Could even hold off till late in the day Sunday. And this will have impacts on how much snow we get. So here's our best estimate at how much snow we'll receive over the entire event from late Saturday night through early Monday. I think anywhere from 12 to 20 inches would be fairly common across the western areas. So we get towards Lubbock, maybe not quite as much, 8 to 15 inches, and a little bit less as you go further east, and then out in the rolling plains where the changeover will be slowest to occur, they probably won't get as much snow, maybe only 4 to 8 inches, but that'll occur on top of uh, all the sleet and freezing rain that they received before that, so roads will become treacherous in either case. And I should mention, uh, where heavier bands set up and linger, we could even see higher totals. And if that changeover is slower to occur, get more of that mixed phase precipitation, uh, we'd be leaning towards the lower amounts. So that's just something to keep in mind, pretty high ranges, regardless, major impact. Speaking of impacts, here's uh, some of the hazards that uh, the storm system will bring. Of course, travel will become very treacherous, maybe impossible as roads become snow packed and icy uh, late Saturday night into Sunday and they'll remain that way well into Monday as temperatures will be slow to climb even as the precipitation shuts off uh, during the afternoon Monday. Uh, those north winds, 30 to 40 miles an hour, are going to be common with some higher gusts, maybe 50 miles an hour or stronger. That's going to blow all that snow that falls around, making blizzard, whiteout conditions. So it'll be very difficult, if not impossible, to get around, especially as you get out in the rural areas. We do expect significant drifting from all this wind and snow. I uh, could see 5 to 10 foot drifts out in those rural areas, especially up on the Cap Rock and maybe even further east. And of course that, that uh, makes travel almost impossible. And along with the strong winds, uh, we'll see temperatures falling down into the 20s and teens. And that's going to create wind chills down around zero. So if you do try to get out and move around, which is not advised uh, during this storm, if you do become stranded, you're going to be dealing with some very cold conditions, so you definitely want to have a winter weather survival kit along if you do have to venture out for some reason. Of course, the strong winds will also create some power outages, uh, and it could take, you know, instead of a couple hours, could take several days, especially in the rural areas, for the power to be restored given the difficult travel that's going to result from it. So that's what we think. This is updated as of uh, late Friday evening on Christmas Day. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope you had one. Uh, if you do want additional information, we will always be updating our website. You can see that there. Listen to NOAA Weather Radio. And we have a few different social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Those were, that's where you can find us. And we'll be updating you throughout the event.